What's up everybody? We are JK Builders coming at you with a brand new update for our Lego City. It has been a really long time since we have given you guys an update. We have made a lot of progress. We have added a lot of things. Uh, so we thought we'd go over it and kind of show you guys what we've been doing all this time. Uh, obviously we've been hard at work. We did a addition down there at the end with the beach. We're going to start over here because um, we have made improvements at this end as well um, since you saw us in our last update video. Yeah. We added the medieval what's it called the medieval, medieval blacksmith blacksmith. shop we did add um i don't know if we've shown that or not um it's got a little walkway or the little uh wagon trail that goes up to it, and it has uh, with some tree trees house. has the uh what is that the medieval forest yeah that's them set whatever it is the, the, the gift we purchased the 90th 90th anniversary okay gift. uh we made some updates to our haunty house as well as the graveyard i updated that fence along the outside with the black railing um, on top, top of the gray that. pieces, yeah, um, updated the gate a little bit and the walkway. Um, I don't know if we ever showed it when it was up on the on the rocks. Even did we show that? Man, it's been so long I can't really remember. But yeah, we elevated it up on the rocks. We got a little walkway with stairs, goes up to the front door. Um, updated the uh, the pathway that leads up to it, the gate, the fence, everything. So still work to be done. We'd like to add a lot of detail to the. Uh, grass and surrounding areas, but I think it's looking pretty good. I know we've showed Sesame Street in the Sesame Street. We did, yeah. Uh, we got the home loan house. We got the fence going around it. Um, pretty cool. Uh, we got lots of cars. We decided to bring our six stud speed champions into the city. So we threw some of those in. Over here, of course, you've got the bookshop. Um, you've got Sesame Street. You got the pet shop, at least half of it. Half of it. And then you have the boutique hotel there on the corner. Um, over here you have the Asian uh, Light Festival. A um, couple of stoplights. You got the Sanctum Sanctorum right there on the corner. Have very, very that. cool set. Um, fits in nicely there next to the Daily Bugle. Now we just need an Avengers Tower to replace the pub. Yeah, someday we will, we hopefully will get an Avengers Tower or build um, our own. One of the two is definitely going to happen sometime this in the future. This is going to be called Avengers Street soon. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um... But yeah, right there we got the pub, um, which is the which is the rebrickable of the corner garage. Um, we got the other half of the pet shop, which is like the townhouse. Jackson Place, the uh, cardboard box guy, on the top, which is cool. Uh, we got our assembly square right there in the middle. On the end, I don't think we've even shown this. We didn't ever do a review of it. This is the radio station, which is a rebrickable of the police station. Um, so very cool building. It's very very unique. Um, it's got the radio towers there on the top, and it's got like a donut shop and a laundromat, all kinds of stuff on that, and a radio station. It's very, very cool. Um, over here we have the gas station, which was the rebrickable of the Monkey Kid set. We did a review of that. Uh, of course, we have the downtown diner. We have the corner garage right here. This is the Jazz Cafe here on the corner, which is the rebrickable of Assembly Square. We have the Lego Shop, which is the BrickLink Designer Program Round 2 set. Check out that review if you haven't. Um, right there in the middle. I think it looks pretty good right there next to the police station. Very nice. And then over here we have the Bowling Alley, which also is from uh, Round 2 of the BrickLink Designer Program. Uh, so this is our addition. So everything from the Corner Garage and Bowling Alley down um, was just recently added on. Um, we wanted to put a beach in the city, and so that is what we are working on. Um, right here, you can see we got the truck that is uh, building some roadway, it looks like, right there. Of course, the city is under construction. Um, right here, we have a little tent and tree, which Brinley was playing with. So we just kind of left it there because we had the open space. We do still have several open base plates that we could add buildings as we go. Um, right here on this side, we have the Venetian houses, which were from the BrickLink Designer Program as well. Now, these were kind of tricky because they have water on both sides. They have the, the little tunnel that goes under the bridge to the water, and then on the back side, they have water as well. So trying to find a place to put these where we'd have water on both sides was really kind of a task. Um, and I think this is the only, you know, real place that we could find that they look good. So... It'll look a lot better, I think, when we fill it in with buildings down there and we add more details to the the beach and the water along here. Um, but that's what we kind of had to do. It was kind of a pain. 
uh, which was my concern with the Venetian houses and why I held off on buying them until the very last minute was because I didn't know how we'd work in that water into the city, but I think this will work. We'll make it work. Um, over here we have a little beach house, which is the three-in-one beach house. I like that set. Um, we have the Lego City set, which is the lifeguard tower. And then, of course, we have the motorized lighthouse right there in the water off of the beach, which I think looks pretty awesome right there. Jackson's turning on the light. All right, and then out in the water, we have several boats. We got the gondola that comes with the Venetian houses. We got some Lego City stuff. Uh, we got the sailboat, which was a free promo a while back. Uh, you got the rowboat that came with the motorized lighthouse. And then you have Ray the Castaway, which was the latest free gift with purchase um, if you spent $120. And Ray the Castaway is fishing, and it looks like... A shark is eating a fish. Thing. A shark got a hold of his bait there. <laughs> so yeah, we uh, today I actually just added all these details along the coastline. Um, so we are working on that. Still a lot of work to do. It's still very unfinished. Um, but I think it's definitely looking a lot better. And uh, we're expanding the city. And um, obviously this road comes to a dead end. I'm not sure if that's exactly how we're going to finish it off right there. But um, especially if we end up adding more buildings behind the bowling alley. Uh, we're definitely going to add two right here and one over there. So we have at least three spaces open. And then we have a half base plate over here next to the... Uh, lantern festival we're thinking of putting in a park right there like a city park or something yeah i've been looking at different options of maybe doing a park i looked at a skate park i was looking at you know maybe some small buildings like a grocery store or something we need a half base plate if anybody has a good idea of something we could put right there please let me know because <laughs> i've been uh i've been searching hard on rebrickable um for different ideas and and looking online but i haven't came to any conclusions yet um, do we have anything new on our shelves down here? I don't know. I moved a lot of stuff around. We just are running out of space. Um, we got baby Groot here. So yeah, we got little Groot. We decided to pull all of our Speed Champions sets down and they're on that shelf. We got some Batman stuff. Um, of course, we got the UCS Star Wars set. We got to add the Razor Crest to that here soon. Um, other than that, I think everything is pretty much the same. But yeah, that is our Lego City. Just a quick overview of what we're doing and what we got going on. Um, we're going to keep expanding it. We're going to keep building onto it. Um, we're anxious to see what the new modular building is going to be here in January. Um, lots of things that it could be. We'll have to wait and see, though. I hope it's a hospital. We need a hospital. Yeah, so that will, I don't know. When that comes, we may have to rearrange some stuff. But like I said, we do have the three base plates. Um, so. Gonna, one thing The beach the beach may not move we may expand uh to the side in the future so maybe put you know add to this road here and maybe put some a uh, board like right here to expand that way but we'll just have to wait and see um anyway let us know what you think in the comments below if you have any ideas of what we could do to improve the city if you have any ideas of what we could add or take away um also a good half base plate a uh, rebrickable or mock or something that we could put right there. Um, any help is appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep on building.